Today, flight delays caused by arrival constraints are a major headache for airlines in terms of extra costs they generate and problems they cause to passengers. The management of these arrival constraints at European level does not provide enough flexibility to airspace users in deciding which flights to prioritize based on their needs when delays occur. On top of that, it also lacks the harmonization of arrival prioritization processes in the pre-flight phase. Through control together with the airlines, the airport, the local service provider and the network manager has developed a holistic and collaborative framework to deal with the impact of delay through the inclusion of the various sector processes and tools. The key element of the process is to give to the airline the possibility to reduce the impact of the delay on the operation by setting prioritization of their flights. At the same time, the framework seeks to ensure the stability and the performance of the network, but also, of course, the integration of the local tools for optimization, like, for example, the rival manager and the gate management at the airport. Over the last two weeks, we ran a set of scenarios to test the operational feasibility and acceptability of the collaborative framework. This framework incorporates the previously validated user-driven prioritization process. The UDPP functionalities are now implemented in a testbed platform alongside the core network management functions. As an airline, we can now send flight prioritization when delays are affecting our operations. Our airspace user prototype tool allows the airlines to manage the impact of delays. This is achieved through a facility that allows testing the effect of flight prioritization before it is formally sent to the network management function. From the flow management perspective, the key objective is to ensure that safety is not compromised with the new framework when capacity is reduced. In this exercise, we have been closely monitoring the effects of airspace user actions to see if measures still have the desired effect. The network management function is primarily interested in managing and reducing delays where possible. Additionally, it is also the network stability and equity in the network we are striving for. This exercise has offered us the chance to shape the future processes and systems around the collaborative framework. The new collaborative process could pose new challenges to management of airport operations. Therefore, our main goal in the exercise was to understand where and how the new collaborative framework may affect the airports. During the exercise, the elements relative to the human and performance associated, such as the charge of work, the consensus of the situation, the role and responsibility of all the actors, have been covered. During the sessions of debriefing, of observation and of individual return, we have been able to verify the acceptability of the service of UDPP mais également de recueillir de chaque acteur les axes d'amélioration et de recommandations pour les aspects techniques. Our plan here at Eurocontrol Innovation Hub is to continue pushing the framework towards operational deployment in order to deliver the expected benefits for all our operational stakeholders.